This is the Nook 13 Pro Arena Canyon, and Nook is a fitting name for this because this tiny powerhouse PC is designed to fit into even the smallest nook and cranny on your premises. And the phrase nook and cranny originated in the mid 1300s. Times have changed, the space is still a problem. But the Intel Nook, the NUC, stands for next unit computing and it punches well above its weight given its tiny stature. The Nook has powerful Ultrabook laptop components in it, but in a form factor that allows for way more IO, so way more ports. And it's also a form factor that will enable you to easily upgrade and replace parts if needed. And this version that I have here is the tall version. And I will open it up in a moment and show you what it's got under the hood. But just off the bat, there are three versions of this available. There's a 16 gig RAM, 512 ROM. There's the 32 gigabit RAM, which is what I have here with the one terabyte ROM. And then there's a bare bones version where you can just get your own parts for it. And if you want to save money, there's an i5 version of this available. You can get it at geeknook.com. Shout out to geeknook.com for sending this over for review. And this is the i7 version. So the Intel inside this version that I have here is the 28 watt i7 13th gen, 12 processor cores, 16 threads, 35 watt thermal design power, and the performance cores can run up to five gigahertz, and the efficiency cores up to 3.8 gigahertz. And both of those are achieved with Turbo Boost. And this version of the Nook 13 Pro has a cool code name attached to it. it sounds like something out of Jurassic Park. It's called the Arena Canyon. And the i7 13th gen inside this also has a cool code name. It's called the Raptor Lake 1360P. Now, if everything I just said makes no sense to you at all, this infographic should help. This is how the i7 1360P stacks up against some of its competitors. The Nook 13 Pros have Intel Iris XE graphics and can output to four monitors or TVs simultaneously, and they do support HDR Plus, as well as Dolby Atmos. However, you cannot go with dedicated graphics on this. However, if gaming and graphics is really important to you, life finds a way. And there is a workaround, and we'll get back to that later on in the video. So it's important to remember that the Nook 13 Pro isn't meant to be a gaming PC. It is meant to be a workhorse for productivity and getting things done. And that brings me nicely onto my new channel sponsor, NordVPN. Because when it comes to getting things done, there's nothing more distracting than companies and hackers constantly trying to steal your data. And are you tired of feeling like someone's constantly watching your every move online? Is privacy important to you? Well, NordVPN is the solution you've been looking for. Nord is the world's leading VPN service that puts your privacy and security first. With NordVPN, you can regain control of your online experience and enjoy the internet as it was meant to be. Imagine being able to browse the web without having to worry about hackers and advertisers, or even your own internet service provider tracking your every move. NordVPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it virtually impossible for anybody to spy on you. This means your personal information and browsing history stay private and secure. But NordVPN is more than just a security tool. It's also your passport to a world of unrestricted content. Say goodbye to geo restrictions and access your favorite streaming services, websites, and social media platforms from anywhere in the world. So this is useful for whether you're traveling or you just want to explore other content from other countries. NordVPN's got you covered. And NordVPN has a vast amount of servers right across the planet. So you get fast, stable connections minimal lag. So you're just going to get smooth, uninterrupted browsing. And if you sign up using my custom link, nordvpn.com forward slash what gear, you'll get a special offer on a two year plan with four additional months for free. And NordVPN has a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk if you change your mind. But once you try it, I don't think you will. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash what gear to claim the discount. It has been my go to VPN for many years now. So it's very easy for me to recommend it to you guys. Go check it out, I think you'll like it. And now back to the Nook. Now this one is tailored more towards productivity, but there is a gaming version of this, the Nook Extreme, and you can get this at geeknook.com. I'll link that below if you wanna go check it out. But if you don't wanna spend the money for the gaming specific one, there's still a way, like I said before, life finds a way. If you know what you're doing, you can use one of the Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back to plug this into an eGPU, an external GPU, and that will essentially allow this to run much more graphically demanding games and software. It won't be quite the same as having a dedicated 
graphics card in the actual hardware itself but it will allow you to run those games. The limitation will be the 40 gigabits per second that you get over Thunderbolt 4. So when running very graphically demanding games, you might find that the frame rates kind of fluctuate between 60 and higher. What you might wanna do is lock it at 60 just so you get a nice stable bit of gameplay and the graphics will still look good. And I'll link some eGPUs for you in the description as well if you wanna check those out. Now, if all of that sounds like a bit too much work, there are some other options available to you, of course, there's always cloud gaming and it's got really good lately. So you could pair up a controller to this and just do cloud gaming on Xbox Game Pass, Boosteroid, or even Nvidia. And now here in the UK, you've also got the Lunar Game Streaming Service from Amazon. And another option is of course, emulation. And of course I had to load up some emulation on here. And as you would expect, this is an i7. It's sliced through emulation like a Hanzo Hattori sword through silk. So who's the Nook 13 really for? Well, a mini PC like this with respectable hardware and full Windows 11 could be perfect for a lot of people, particularly when it comes to this form factor. For example, let's say you're a business owner and you have offices or you work in a shop behind a desk and you just need a PC to run Microsoft Office and maybe some admin software and just to browse the web and things like that. This could be perfect. Also, the Nook 13 Pro could be perfect for business owners that need to run digital signage in their shops or in their shop front windows. As mentioned before, this can run four displays at the same time. Also, the Nook 13 Pro could be perfect for students who only need Microsoft Office and ChatGPT to do all of their homework in minutes. So what's really great about the design is it does ship with a VESA mount. So if you have limited space in your office or on your desk, you can literally just bolt this to the back of a screen, a monitor or a TV. And then all you need to do is a little bit of cable management and you've got a really nice clean setup, an all-in-one PC media setup. And I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate one of those, not just in the office space, but also at home. So that's just a couple of use cases that I came up with. I'm sure you can think of many more. Okay, now let me show you what's under the hood. We need to take the base off. There's four screws, very easy to do. Even easier with one of these. So inside the base cover is a copper cooling layer and some cooling pads for the RAM and SSD. The solid state drive, the SSD inside is a high-end Kingston NV2 PCI 4.0 NVMe M.2. Try to say that three times fast. And you can upgrade this memory component up to eight terabytes. Then you'll notice there's an empty slot here. That's a 2242 M2B socket for further SD expansion. The SD that would fit in there wouldn't be quite as fast as the version up here, the primary memory. And then one of the advantages of this particular model, the tool, is there's actually space for a 2.5 inch SATA drive in the top here. So that would literally just slot in the top here and that ribbon you see there connects it to the motherboard. There are two pieces of DDR4 3200 16 gigabit RAM pre-installed here. These can be replaced and you can go all the way up to 64 gigabit if you want to. So it's safe to say there's plenty of room for aggressive expansion. And they've done a great job with the fan on the Nook 13 Pro. There are air intakes on both sides and a vent at the back. And when the fan kicks in, you can hear it, but it's not distracting at all. It's very quiet. And I know some of you guys would appreciate that. And the Nook 13 Pro does support Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3 and this is fantastic because this makes us even more versatile when it comes to placement with Wi-Fi 6E in some cases being faster than an actual cable from your modem. Of course you need a Wi-Fi 6E modem to achieve that but it's good to know that it's there it makes it kind of future proof and the lid on this pops off really easy if you want to access the fan to maybe change the cooling paste or fix the fan or anything like that you can access it from this side Okay, now let's talk about the physical connections, the IO. So on the back, we have a 2.5 gigabit LAN I226V port. You've got two Thunderbolt 4 ports and both of these can be used as display ports. Then you've got two HDMI 2.1s. Again, another two displays. So that's where you get the four displays from. You've got a USB 2.0 port and also a USB 3.2 port. And this little bit here is actually for cable retention. So once you plug this into the power source, 
you can lock the cable in place with this piece that comes with it. And that way, if the cable gets snagged, it's not going to destroy the port. Now, if we flip it around to the front, you've got two USB 3.2 ports, both supporting 10 gigabits per second. And one of them also supports power delivery. That's that one here with the battery logo on it. And then we've also got the headphone and mic jack here on the front. If you have headphones with a mic built in, it can use both of those at the same time. And then of course you've got a backlit power button there. So you might be wondering how I am personally gonna use the Nook 13 Pro. Well, I've had a few ideas. I think what I'm going with is I'm gonna connect this to my main TV in the living room and connect up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. And then that way, when I'm sitting on the sofa and I've got my feet up, I can still get some tasks done. And I can also use it as a media center for apps that don't exist on my TV, for example, BT Sport. I can download that on Windows 11 and watch it there on the TV with the proper sound in 4K in HDR. And what I've already done is connected the Lunar Gamepad to it. So when I'm downstairs, if I want to play any of the old Assassin's Creed or anything like that, I can just fire up Lunar Game Streaming Service on the big screen and play those games downstairs in comfort. And what's really great about this form factor is I can hide this away within the TV stand and no one even needs to know that it's there. And then if I do need it back up here in the YouTube room for whatever, I can literally just unplug it, carry this back upstairs, and it doesn't take a lot of effort. In fact, the 120 watt power supply that this comes with is probably harder to move around than this is. And yes, I did say 120 watt power supply. That's a lot of power. And this is a powerful device. It probably doesn't need that much, but I can tell you this, this has all of the power and speed that most people will ever need when it comes to a Windows PC and getting things done. And here's a final thought for you guys on the topic of productivity. Ben Franklin said, either write something worth reading or do something worth writing about. And on that note, why not read the description of this video? You'll find links to my channel sponsors and also links to all of the things I mentioned in this video. And also this shiny red subscribe button well, it used to be red. If you hit that, magical things will happen. Appreciate you guys for watching this one. If you got any value out of this at all, a little thumbs up, subscribe would make my day and I'd really appreciate it. And if you do that, I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.